Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. Whoa. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. This is me. What this is what I do when I'm not streaming. You have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. I sharpen pencils all day. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Look at this man. Oh, when William the Kid <gasps> What's going on? made their appearance, I immediately snapped into action. Oh, shit. There <laughs> were dozens of them. I fought them poop and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body is a weapon. Then suddenly, I snapped. <laughs> that cow right there is Brandon, and the two rhinoceros guys is the chat just coming after him. <laughs> Brandon's just like, what? <laughs> and the guys are like, this cannot come up. It can only be one thing. <laughs> Ta-da, <laughs> The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. Yep, this they is... They ripped me away to kids <laughs> the island fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a, like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bovine ingenuity on my part, oh my I picked a few things up. Kid's Ooh. demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. Mm, clues! He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. No! As you know, he's already done that. Not the cows! Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. No! Why, Fox? Someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Milky? <laughs> hmm, sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Oh, Can shit. you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find oh that secret God. fortress and stop William the Kid. <laughs> oh, my God. This entire chat is just Brandon saying he's got milk. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> wow, I'm just playing here and Brandon's like, he's just screaming it. Okay, I got some, now I can get some cool uh, gadgets for my exploration needs. So he just said he swallowed the thing, the, the code or whatever, right? So if we use this gum, x-ray gum, it should allow us, right? X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? See, watch this. Ah, oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor x-ray gum. So he's going to explain it to us now how it works. I'll explain how it works. <laughs> you take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you are done, <laughs> you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. Oh. You know, four out of five dentists prefer x-ray gum for their patients who need x-rays. Oh my god, Brandon! <laughs> a duck needs his fiber. Brandon, I'll give you my milk, baby. <laughs> So now that I got the x-ray gum, I can go ahead and use it on this heinous heifer over here and uh, discover what's inside now, his gullet. You don't mind, Mr. Utterly. I'm going to need to use this x-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> and this boy passes out. Uh, that's the one. <laughs> Your x-ray gum works perfectly. Oh, I, I can't. can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. Uh, 
Look at all this stuff. This guy's drinking fucking band-aids. What is he? There's a fork with spaghetti still on it. Meatloaf. There's a spot for it, but it's not there. <laughs> Steak. Oh, no. It's where you need to cut for the specific meat. I didn't catch that on the first playthrough. There's a tape recorder. I found the note. I'll be able to disarm that milky weapon of destruction with that diode. I just need to find it, then figure out where to place it. All right. So we got the code. We should be good. Me having to just get your girlfriend to have a kid and get her milk. What is going on? <laughs> it's not, the chat's not even about the game. It's about Brandon and his sister's milk. <laughs> it's fantastic. All right, let's see what other kind of things we got. We got some, uh... What's in this egg-shaped container, Professor Quack? This is a little gadget I call the Spy Putty. Oh, Spy Putty. I wonder what that does. What you do is open the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press down and then peel the putty off. Ooh. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. I know what you're thinking. You think that the spy putty <laughs> looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. What you don't oh know God. is that I thought of it first. Hmm. Identity theft. I just created this. duplicitous duplicators stole my idea. Ah, uh, this will be fun one day. <coughs> this will be fun one day. I'll be like, yo, we should go back and look at this amazing playthrough of Spy Fox and in the chat. <laughs> it's just going to be Brandon talking about milk. You guys know why he's doing it, right? You know why he's doing it, you know? It's because you're reacting to it. If you didn't react to it, you would have no power here. You would have zero power, but you guys are reacting to it. <laughs> what, a boot? It appears to be a shoe. Or a shoe. What is this gadget, Professor Quack? Oh, that's the night vision shoe. One of my most ingenious inventions. Ooh. The night vision shoe. If you happen to find yourself in a dark place, all you do is strap the shoe onto your head, and then you can see in the dark. How what a illuminating. What a fantastic gadget. Yes, and it has excellent arch support. Well, I would hope so if you can see that. The night vision shoe. Hey, Brandon, why don't you go get your girlfriend's milk? Come on. Yeah. Because it's like readily available. A safe. A coin, some, I don't even, <laughs> it's the milk extractors! <laughs> That's what they are. <laughs> I don't know what these are. Uh, I'll get the, you know what, I'll use these. What handsome cufflink. Are they gadgets as well, Professor Quack? Those are the suction cufflink. I'm very proud of them. They are tiny suction cups that allow you to climb across non-porous metal surfaces. The perfect fashion accessory for the well-dressed spot. Yes, it is. You can climb over ledges and shit. What's up, mm. Tenacious Raccoon? That was a tasty one. <laughs> Milk extractors. Brandon wants to know your location. <laughs> All right, so now that I have my gadgets and shit, let's go start going and trying to find the clues we need to get out of here. This guy's new. What do we see you doing over here? Selling shit? Trinkets. All right, uh, let's talk Welcome to him. Welcome to the Trinket Emporium. Hello. My name is Gilbert. Hello, How Gilbert. How may I be of service to you, <laughs> honorable visitor to this? Our he sounds like a Gilbert. Dear Island home. I'm not sure yet. I was just noticing your fine selection of trinkets, sir. <sighs> I think that you will find we offer much more than mere trinkets. We pride ourselves on having the island's finest selection of rare and hard to find collector items and antiquities. Ooh, Excellent. cool! One never knows when they will be struck with an unquenchable desire to indulge in a blatant act of bourgeois consumerism. Our That's thoughts exactly. Right. Exactly, even though I understood exactly 5% of everything that they just said. With that being said, I'm going to see if I can buy some of these trinkets. So, Please. What's a jar of trinkets going for these yes, days? Yes, you have. Uh, normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas, but for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. I'll Ooh. take it. Thank you, sir, for the trinkets. There you go, sir. Why, thank you. 
You're the best. Thank you. I don't know what I need those for, but I will. I think I, I think I know what I need those for actually, but I'm not positive. But uh, let's continue on here. Ooh, what's this? What's this? A sailor? Hello. Excuse me. Are you the owner of this boat? I'm James T. Drydock. Captain of the SS Winterprize. Pleased to meet you. Well, hello. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Spy Fox. Is this rickety old boat of yours seaworthy? 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 Of course she's seaworthy. The question is not whether she's seaworthy, maybe, but rather whether you're worthy of the sea. What I see. This? <laughs> but this guy is just has this like weird speech that I am not the <laughs> dog. I don't understand it. All right, let's go up here. Pardon me, sir, but just where do you think you're going? Up there? On board? Sir, you are obviously making a little joke. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? No. Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. Oh! Wow, well, that was a dark I joke. I gather information about the deck party with this. Wow, that was a really dark joke. So he's standing right here. I don't have this card or whatever, so let's go ask some people about this uh, this thing and see if we can get some information on it. Said I can ask him. Let's see what he wants. I don't know anything about that, but do you want to see my tattoo? No, I don't. Oh! <gasps> Oh shit, is that Brandon's sister? Getting some more milk for Brandon. <laughs> the drink in his cereal. <laughs> That's so, so raunchy. Oh. Yeah, I feel so sorry for anyone that walks in under the chat. I feel so bad for anyone. I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the docks. But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. <laughs> I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one, too. Uh, Would you like to look at it? Oh, he has Why, an invitation. Yes, I would love to look at it. Perfect. He has an invitation. What's it I'm look like? I'm so impressed that you got an invitation to this fancy deck party. That's right. Will you be wearing your tuxedo? No. I have chosen one of my finest all-cotton t-shirts to wear. One that will show off my impressive pectoral muscles. Ooh. I'm sure. You know who's got pectoral muscles is that raging duck over there. But I know exactly what to do in this situation. Use the spy putty and copy the card. I can't copy the invitation while he's looking right at me. So maybe I can do something to distract him. Uh, do I have a gadget? Ooh, buy. Oh, wait. Should I try to hurt? Ooh, let's buy this. I'd like to purchase that fine stuffed kitty. All right. I'll get it for you. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah, thank you, kitty, kitty, kitty. Let's now use the spy putty on the thing! Copy this bitchin' car and get myself on that badass boat. Oh, forget it. I can't sell you that cat. It's still alive. Meow. Did you hear that? Meow. There it was again. Why, thank you, sir.